In this video, we're going to cover the basic setup for choice nodes. Now, before items, we'll cover how to label the branches, how to insert the values, how to tweak the appearance, and how to cal calculate the node value. First thing I'll do is give the node a label by editing text. We'll call this node 1. And then we label the branches. Next, I'll put a value in for choice A. I'm choosing arbitrary numbers as an example. And 22. And I will take both of those and center them. But I also would like to do something cosmetic. I'd like this number to line up nice and neatly with the line here. So what I'm going to do is do a merge of the cent and centering of the cells like I've done before. Merging and centering there, and merging and centering there. Now that I see how big things are, I'm going to condense things a little bit just graphically to get a nicer, more compact chart. So I make these columns a little smaller, and I'll do the same for these two. Finally, I'll put in a formula to tell me the value of the actual node. I'll stick it here for now, and it will say equals if the value of the top branch is larger than the value of the lower branch, then the value of the node is the value of the top branch, comma, otherwise it's the value of the lower branch. Parenthesis closes the formula. There's the result. And again, I'm going to do a little cosmetic tweaking. I'll join these with a merge and center and set the alignment up like that so that the number appears near the node. The value of the top branch, the value of the bottom branch, and the calculated value of the choice node. 